In this video, I'm going to try and explain some of the problems you could run into if you use a roof vent to try and unclog your pipes by running a snake through it. A plumber's snake, not a regular snake like a reptile. Let's not get carried away here. That might work, but uh, we'll have to get back with me if you do ever uh, test it. Um, so what we have is a vent sticking out at the top. And I think the best way to find out if this stuff is going to align or line up with your walls below would be to actually measure the vent, measure it off the edge of the roof, and then maybe you could come down and stand, you know, and kind of get an estimate hey, to what wall the vent's actually in. But um, keep in mind that some of the vents aren't always going to be perfectly straight. Um, or should I say vertical. In this case, we have a vent that runs straight down into the attic and straight down, as we can see, to the drain where the sink would be. Now, this is just an example of this would be the perfect way if you can't access this area here. And don't forget, you can always access the drain here by removing the trap if you don't have a clean out sometimes you're going to have a clean out this would be a little knob that you could unscrew with a pipe uh, pipe wrench a pair of channel locks or uh, in some cases you might need a large uh, screwdriver they have uh, different designs for the um, vent plugs but if you look inside the wall and the reason why I made this video is because we can't see inside the walls that's the biggest problem you know if we had x-ray vision we would be able to look and see where all these pipes go but we're not going to be able to see that all the time however you can go into the attic sometime don't forget you can go into the attic you know if you have an access hole and kind of give you an idea where these vent pipes are going out but if you don't have um, access to the attic um, you're going to have to measure get some measurements um, you know measure from the edge of the wall go up to the roof kind of try and get an idea you might need to measure two bedrooms um, to get an idea where the um, roof drain might be or the vent but you know it, that's hard to do with an angled roof if the roof was flat you'd be able to take a measurement like that so it's going to be more of a visual thing you're going to need to take a look do some measuring and uh, see what's in the attic, stuff like that, if you can access it. And uh, it's just going to involve a little bit of creative thinking. But you can always access this, which is going to be the easiest. Your vent pipe is rarely going to be plugged. You would just be using the vent to run down and bypass this in, in this area here. But if, So if you can, this is going to be probably the better spot to run a snake through. Um, but you're going to need to remove the drain. And in some cases, I understand it's going to be easier to go through the vent than it is to remove the um, sink drain and then put it back together and worry about it leaking. Now let's take a look at scenario two, which isn't going to be the ideal scenario. Here we have a vent pipe, and you can see it still goes straight down, but it's picking up the vent for another sink. And this is common. It's common to actually have a pipe that goes down. So if you were to run your snake down the vent, um, it's just going to go straight. I doubt if it's going to make this turn. I guess if you're really good at it, you can make it. But most of the time, it's not going to happen. And these, um, you're allowed to vent into other, um, you're allowed to pick up like two or three fixtures with these vents. So this could really get complicated. And, it, and you might not see it in the attic. These vent pipes might actually be down in the wall here. And I'm going to show you some regular pictures, not uh, the 3D illustration here to give you a better idea of it. So here we have a scenario that might create problems for you running a, um, a snake, plumber snake, down a vent pipe. If this is the vent or the, the clog you're actually trying to access, and this is the only way that the snake is going to go. It's going to take the easiest route straight down. You're not going to be able to run the snake down. It's going to be, um, it's not going to do you any good. So this is why I was suggesting to measure the um, distances of the pipes, look in the attic, kind of see what's going on. And But you're not going to be able to see this if it's located in the wall. All you're going to see is a pipe come straight out. And this might look like 
um, it's coming out of this side here unless you were to actually do some measuring uh, measure how far off the wall um, the exterior wall the um, the sink drain is and um, and then if you can see you know if you go outside and you get a measurement and you can see that the drains off by two or three feet then you're probably not going to be able to use the vent to unclog your drain and this is the whole reason why I'm making the video now let's take a look at some pictures uh, in case you're wondering what a roof vent um, actually looks like when it comes out of the roof it would look something like this have some metal around it and then a pipe coming up and this would be your roof vent <clears throat> here's another example you have a roof vent going straight down if your clog was in this area or in this area here the roof drain is not going to do you any good now there are some cases where uh, plumbers have ran snakes down and the configuration of the plumbing might have been a little messed up and the snake has actually came out of the sink it's came out of the toilet um, I've heard stories I've never seen it done but um, that would be something you'd need to be aware of if you're running a snake through a vent by yourself um, run it through stop go down and look and make sure it's not coming out of any pipes um, that uh, I've heard stories of where the snake comes out and uh, comes out goes into the bathroom rips the shower curtain off um, does some damage to the bathroom and uh, you're not even thinking it because these things are so powerful here's another configuration you have a vent going straight down with a um, with a drain pipe right here and this isn't a common configuration most of the time you're going to have the sink drain and this sand tee is just going to come straight off it'll be at an angle or something to pick up the drain another one here here we have a vent pipe that runs all the way over to here it's picking up a couple of fixtures so you can see that your your vent if you were to run it through the vent let's say the vent pipe comes out over here it's going to come straight down here go all the way to the end and then down it's going to miss these three and you're not going to know this um, because you can't see what's inside the walls another situation here where the drain goes in through a wall here so this one right here you might think hey wait a minute the drain goes up and um, it's close enough to this because it's only off a little bit and you're thinking hey, I'll be able to run it down through here and that's fine as long as the clog is not in here another situation again if this is the drain you're looking for the snake is going to take the easiest route and go down this way uh, here's a vent pipe going through an attic another situation this picture is a little blurry this is the pipe that we were just looking at on the other side another setup here again like I said if you were to have if you had a setup like this you did some measuring um, this is about two feet maybe three feet if you were to go outside it might look like this is close enough and you're gonna run the run the snake through here and you're never going to pick this up here but again if you can take this stuff apart if this sink is clogged over here and you can take the trap apart and run the snake through here it's going to go down into here this is going to be the easiest way to access everything not going through the roof the roof would be uh, and, and most plumbers I'm sure would agree with me is that the roof vents would only be if you can't access these areas for some reason reason another setup this is the back of it and another setup we have a sink coming or drain coming down here it's going to come straight down here but it's going to miss this area here and of course we have another drain coming off of here somewhere and that's it for this uh, video I hope it was helpful if it is don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button and I have created a new Facebook page for anyone who wants to join it's uh, go to the first page of our website homebuildingandrepairs.com I have a little icon at the top and uh, I'm going to put all of the video links for all of my other channels this is not my only channel I have quite a few other channels I'm going to link them all together so that uh, it can ma it'll make it easier for everyone to access the information um, for I have information for contractors my books stuff like that so Facebook might need uh, might need uh, 
might need to join our Facebook channel. It is new. And uh, and like I said, I am going to put other links to our other channels on there for other videos that I make. So anyway, that's it for this video. Off to the next one.